Okay, it's coming soon, everybody. Dr. Barbecue's restaurant in St. Pete. And here to get the celebration started and to always talk about previews and what you can expect, Dr. Barbecue himself. Great. Nice How to see you, you, darling. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, too. So I love getting the progress reports and the updates. We've got to sign up. We got to sign up, like the fancy neon sign the appeared fancy yesterday. Neon sign. Yes, somebody sent me a picture of it. I didn't even know. <laughs> so that is really good progress. And uh, and so again, still we're not putting a date. We don't want to set anything in stone. Oh, we're trying. It's just where do you see what we're doing inside? It's such a big, cool product. There's like these giant beams that hover over the bar. I, I'm just as a little thing. Two big ass fans, not one. Two. <laughs> where do you see what we're doing in there? And it's just taken longer than we ever dream. Well, Ray, I, you know, even though you're a regular and one of our favorite guests. We still do our research, and I was doing some research on you, uh -oh. and I saw on Facebook you'd posted some boxes of memorabilia that you held on to, yeah, and that you were excited to go my through car. it. Yes, okay. we're going to do that. 20 years. I've been so what I've been doing is I, I've been lucky enough to go a lot of places, do a lot of cool stuff, and under my desk is always a bank box, you know, one of them little cardboard boxes. Yeah. And it's full, not papers, there's some papers, junk, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, Guy Fieri's business card from when his phone number was on it from way back when. Just weird <laughs> stuff that I've been collecting for 20 years. And it's just all sitting there. We're going to go through it all now and see what we want to use for the restaurant. I sort of think a lot of it's just going to be junk that we're not going to want to use. But I don't know. We'll see what's in there. It's got to be so rewarding for yourself. Someone who has traveled as much as you have, done as much television as you have, done as many recipes and appearances as you have, to now being able to see it coming together and being so close. It is. It's fun. It's so exciting for me. It's really one of those life projects. I didn't really plan on it. You know, I, I kind of wing it as I go. But when this one came up, it was the perfect fit. And, you know, I love to travel. I travel all the time. But this one may get me to somehow to retire stay? and stay in St. Petersburg. We like the sounds of that. Enough of this touchy-feely stuff, though. Yeah, Let's get we gotta cook a little something. Let's get cooking. So we are still recipe testing. We're getting close on a lot of stuff. This oh, is that's... one. Go ahead and start mixing that. Oh, sorry, this is one that I, this is one that's been in the back of my head for a long time. It's kind of like a key lime pie. Which, by the way, we're doing dessert. Can I just say I'm super excited that we're doing dessert with you? Uh, yeah, well, that's true. People don't think I know how to cook anything except giant pieces of meat. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. I didn't say that. Okay, you, you did. You keep mixing on that. That's just your basic graham cracker crust, graham butter and sugar. Okay. And then start putting it in that pan. And I'll start working on the filling over here. This is three egg yolks. It's this very, pan right here? Yep. All and of it? You got way too much. No, you got enough for three or four of them. That's what I thought. I was like, I'm not good in the kitchen, but <laughs> uh, you got to help me out there, Ray. This is sweetened condensed milk. This is basically a key lime pie recipe that has uh, orange juice, sour orange juice. You know, very, very... Uh, oh. Oh, Tampa so ingredient, that. the stuff up there, the sour yeah. orange. And I thought that would be a cool idea. Now, we made it the first time, and it just wasn't quite sour enough. That stuff's not oh. as bold as, as key lime juice. Right. So what we decided to do is add a bunch of this stuff. What is that? Orange zest. Two oh. whole oranges, and this would make two of these that size pie. So it's really not like a, what are we calling this? Sour orange pie. Sour or orange we may, pie. You know, sour oranges are also called uh, bitter oranges or Seville oranges. So we may, we may, we're danced. You know, they'll come up with a fancy name for it. So I'm not too worried <laughs> about it. Well, yours is a little weak, Natalie. So oh. I'm going to pull out my little Look, crust that I made. Here. Well, you forgot the sides. See how you got the sides oh, going? Oh, yeah, I guess that does help the pie. Again, I'm starting from the basics, <laughs> now, you want to Not even you can help me out. Cook this for 10 minutes. Next time, make it look like that. <laughs> cook that for 10 minutes. I'm glad you knew to have another one prepared correctly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would mix that a little bit better. Put that in there, and it goes back in the oven for 15 minutes. I'm loving the mini pie feel, too. I love that. You know, we like that. It's Well, it's like a, a gluttonous one-person or two-person pie is like what we like that. to call that. So, so that one is ready. 10 minutes for just the crust, 15 minutes for the topping. It should be a little bit tart. The sweetened mm, condensed mm. milk, of course, it's going to be sweet. That's um, good. But it wasn't quite there until we put all that zest in there. Isn't that nice? That's Here's very that fresh nice. fresh flavor. That's very nice. Perfect for... Summer this time of year. It's a Florida thing, you know. I mean, I didn't, I'm not the first guy that ever did it, but I think mine's the best. Mm, I like that. That's I like the stuff that. stuff we use, like, for mojo. When we use, you know, in Cuban food, mojo, that sour orange stuff. Well, you know what? You are not the first guy to be on our show cooking, but you're one of our favorites, too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. And there's the information on your screen. Stay tuned, guys. It is coming soon. Dr. Barbecues.